Lincoln City is where clean air in the United States is measured from. So we have wonderful, nice, clean air. The wonderful beach close enough to Portland so that uh, the tourists come down here. And then we have the lake here also. So uh, we also have a hospital that's always been well equipped and well staffed. And uh, it's been a blessing to live in this kind of community for my family and I. My name is Erling Oxenholt. I'm an uh, osteopathic physician. I like my job. I like people. I like to take care of people. I feel like I stay up to date on medicine very well. And um, it's, I guess you might say, ingrained in my soul ever since I was a child living in Africa and looking to see all the hardships people were having over there and learning from there that I wanted to be a physician. He started 49 years ago. I don't know if you know he's been here that long. And back in the day, he's done hypothermia protocols with EMS, getting them stabilized and warmed up from anybody out in the ocean. Dr. Oxenholt helps the EMS cause by being very vested in our knowledge and our training. He likes to uh, assure that we have pretty much all the newest equipment, newest procedures, and uh, most up-to-date knowledge possible to uh, help facilitate patient care. He works intimately with the hospital, so he helps with some of the hiring of different doctors, and he gets people with all sorts of varied experiences. And by having those varied experiences, they're able to teach us. So when we bring in patients, we're able to learn not only from the doctors, but learn from Dr. Oxenholt and uh, be able to provide better care. Rural health means to me to do more with less. For example, when I started, I was the OBGYN, I was the orthopedist, I was the internist, I was the specialist in most of the fields. I think there's some people that are brought onto this world that they serve others and that's what he does and I think that is his um, whole aura of what he does and why he does it. He goes on mission trips every year. Um, he's been to Brazil and Ethiopia and New Guinea and um, takes 20 to 30 people that go down and they do medical missions. His knowledge and his willingness to spend time and effort to make sure that we are the strongest medics and EMPs that we can possibly be really reward the county with uh, superior care. And he definitely has us thinking outside of the box on regular training sessions. So it's a, it's a real challenge and it's a real reward to see some of his examples come through in real life. And my goal has always been to serve the people. I love the seniors and I love the people who have got less in life and been disenfranchised. So I like to take care of people and help them whenever I can.